This next nymph seems to have a fairly thick body. Tell me about how you make that. Yeah, it's, um, it's a, in fact a caddis nymph. The body is pretty dense. I make it with uh, this kind of uh, tubbing, orange tubbing. And I put just a little bit of CDC. And I will show you how to use the bobbin holder as a twister. Cool. So, yes, just a pretty big bead. Like this. Open the vise. And get the thread ready. You know, the, the idea of splitting the thread is good as far as you do not have too much material in between. If you have too much, too bulky material or salt water material, I will definitely use a dubbing loop. And even if I have too much material, I will double the dubbing loop. Wow. Which means that it's very simple. I use only one kind of thread for all my tying. From nice. the tiny one to the salt water pattern. But let me show you how I will make a dubbing loop and use the bobbin holder as a twister. So for that one we will make quite a huge amount of dubbing directly on the table like this. And then use only one feather like this. Trim, transfer, trim off the stem. So you just go like this, put the loop in like this, and then incorporate the element like this, straight the bobbin holder open and then just spin the bobbin holder you see and it's quite strong because we have three thread here and then the only thing we have to do is to go around like this and to go close to the head like this when you arrive here you release a little bit of thread just to open the triangle here and then with whatever tool you have, just release from the hook and then keep on going like this. Quite quick, eh? We've said a lot about fast flies, that's very fast. <laughs> so, you have a lot of fibers, you can leave them, but Personally, for this pattern, I prefer to trim a little bit all around, not too short. You want some of the CDC fibers yeah. sticking out? Yeah, and it traps hair, so it's always good to have a little bit CDC out like this. That is a very unique way of tying a, a, a nymph body. That is awesome.